Hey guys, so here we have one of my salon redesigns along with some glitter stamping. So starting off, I've filed down her previous set to a thin layer. And I'm going to be using CJP Midnight Purple and Cherry Fizz. So first of all, I'm just coming in with a thin layer of clear acrylic. And then coming in with the cherry fizz and I'm just creating a thin base layer so I'm almost painting with this just to make a thin layer of that colour. And then I'm just leaving that to set and then I'm going back to the pinky. There is a reason I have started with the ring finger, all will become clear. And then I'm coming in with another clear base. And then coming in with the midnight purple from the cuticle down. Again, pretty much just painting with this, using it as a design colour rather than a strength. And then coming in with the cherry fizz at the tip and then blending up to make an ombre fade. And then going with that middle finger. Coming in with that clear acrylic. And once again with that midnight purple from the cuticle area. And then pulling down. Using that to basically paint a full colour layer. And then once again, coming in with that clear base. And coming in with that midnight purple from cuticle and pulling down. And then starting to get that cherry fizz and blending up for another ombre. Going back to the pinky finger and capping in my crystal glass. And this is where I'm now thinking about the strength and the structure of my nails. Making sure I create most of it with the brush so that filing is just perfecting that and refining it. And then capping the third nail exactly the same, starting at the cuticle area, pulling down. And then on that ring finger, I'm getting out my snow white acrylic and I'm going to create a 3D rose. And I'm taking small beads, removing the liquid out of the back of the bead and then placing on the nail. Having it turn a little mat and then splitting into a, a semicircle shape and then pressing out to create those petals of that rose. And I'm going to continue doing this, just layering up the petals. So for the next layer I'm going to use slightly smaller beads and I'm going to make sure I overlap.
and just getting smaller and smaller working towards the center of that rose And then wanting to curl those final beads round for the centre. And place that centre bead and then come in right in the middle of that centre bead. Pushing out and creating that curl. And just while that's setting, I'm going to do the thumb, putting on a clear base. Starting with the midnight purple at the cuticle area. And painting forwards and down. And then cherry fizz at the tip and blending up. And I want to cap this now, so I'm going to use a slightly wetter bead of acrylic over the petals just to make sure there's no air bubbles. And now I'm going to cap that entire nail, thinking about the structure and the shape, creating that apex. Apologise if you can hear the snoring in the background, that is my dog, she is fast asleep next to me. <laughs> and then I'm capping the thumbnail, starting at the cuticle area and pulling down. And then once that's all cured, I'm going to file, so side wall, side wall, free edge, cuticle area, and then the bulk of the nail. And then when that's all done, dusting them all off, and then we're going to do some glitter stamping. I'm using Cherry Fuzz from the Moyu collection, along with one of their Pro XL plates and their Kaleidoscope Clear Stamper. Cleaning it off with my lint roller there. Now I'm going to get my pigment brush and press it into my fuchsia superfine glitter and then I'm going to get my client to hold on to that brush so it's all ready and loaded and ready to go because you need to move fast. Placing the polish on the plate, scraping, pick up, stamp onto the nail, grab that brush, press that right in. You need to move very fast and then that glitter then sticks to that nail varnish. I'm then going to float a layer of Mega Mix over this. And then I'm going to cure that in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm coming in with my CJP LED top coat and top coating all the nails, including that stamped one. And then this will cure for 60 seconds LED. Doing thumbnail again, 60 seconds LED. And 
and that's that's all cured so a little bit of non-acetone polish remover to remove the excess nail varnish there and then coming in with my cuticle oil and massaging it into the cuticles so there you go guys thank you for tuning in if you have any questions or comments just pop them below and any requests pop that below too thanks for stopping by see you later